time for a ZX Renew. Hey guys, it's me, Retroku, and as you can totally tell, I am at home from work, and I thought I'd actually show you what I got from the uh, Royal Mail all the way from, you know, all the way here to the USPS. And what I have in the box is a ZX Renew uh, custom, like, faceplate, the keyboard mat, and the housing shell. I ordered this because I really needed a big makeover to this, like, it really needed a facelift. Because, um, as you can already tell on screen, the ZX Spectrum's, like, you know, like, the overall uh, presentation is already, like, really bad. It's gotten really to the point where I, I can barely find myself presenting this, um, because, um, when I got it, it was in, it was in really dirty condition, and it was really showing its age. Because, as you can totally tell, um, the rubber feet itself, if you saw the original video, I pretty much had this problem going on with the ZX Spectrum, where uh, the rubber feet were really, really dirty. Um, and some of the parts were missing, uh, and then I actually had to cut it with the um, pocket knife to cut this, I think it was this part or the other one right here. But I tried using my pocket knife to at least remove what's the dirty part of this... Um, this uh, freaking rubber it's already dried up you can totally tell if I do that it's gonna be an issue so yeah um, also this little piece of sticker if you saw in the original video that I was there um, I lost it because I was trying to clean the entire like uh, the outer shell I pretty much try to put a piece of tape on there to actually like you know like avoid getting it you know, drenched in uh, soap and all but it got soggy and I decided okay whatever I can just copy uh, like Try to make a copy, use a label to it, and, and this 48k thing, I actually took it out because I wanted to make sure I clean the entire thing. And while it's clean, uh, I still think it, it is totally, like, aging, and um, I pretty much cleaned out everything, the interior out of this. So, trying to get this out is a pain in the ass because I actually used the double-sided tape, and now I can take this out. And it works. The uh, um, I actually removed the original adhesive. I think I got everything, but I don't think so. I think from the sides I didn't remove it. So, uh, yeah, um, I actually used double-sided tape to actually um, to to make sure that the this faceplate could be there. So, you know, like just stuck uh, stay in place. Um, when I uh, when I try to take it out, that adhesive was very strong. And holy crap, dude! I could barely try to take it out. So yeah, um, and then you got like the uh, keyboard mat itself. Um, I had to clean everything, like everything, everything. Not the motherboard, but just the the entire like outer li uh, shell, you know, like the shell, the, the, ma the mat, the keyboard membrane somewhat. But yeah, look at this, look at this little keyboard membrane. It's so good to just have it right here, just like just press it and, you know. Um, there's no problem with any of this. In fact, the keyboard membrane is fine. What I'm gonna be doing is use that keyboard membrane and actually move it onto the new um, housing shell and of course the keyboard mat. So yeah, um, I'm gonna go ahead and grab the screwdriver. Okay, so now I have the keyboard. Uh, so, okay, so now I have this around here and I guess what I'm gonna do right now is not to uh, disassemble the ZX Spectrum. I'll just go ahead and try to, like, just leave it here, and then I'll go ahead and make use of the, the housing. So, so I want to get my, my good reaction out of this, because um, I only have one shot to, to, to take for this. So, yeah, um, let's go ahead and open this. Okay. Um, <laughs> there's a bag in here. Thank you. Have a nice day. Uh, enjoy the saving but okay <laughs> it's literally this bag <laughs> okay um and then of course um this it's all handled with care now i got everything in here let's go ahead and open this baby up let's get our good reaction to this oh oh hell yeah Ooh, look at that <laughs> oh wow look at this this is actually pretty cool now, I have the keyboard membrane, like I already mentioned. Um, it actually feels brand new. <laughs> totally feels really, really brand new. Compared to the compared to the uh, ZX Spectrum's keyboard membrane, you can totally tell there's really not much of a difference. Um, obviously, it is a reproduction. So, this feels totally... Oh, man, this actually feels smoother than the original. 
But th this feels more rubbery, and I like that. I think I like the rubbery finish to it, and I think that's better than just having it like that. Honestly, I like it. Um, but yeah, uh, let me move this aside. Here is the faceplate itself. Um, it looks really like uh, the original. It does feel like the original, actually. Um, though this is more smooth. Well, they're kind of the same, now that I think of it. It's kind of, it's kind of like the same. It's pretty much like the original. It, um, you got the adhesives itself, so like whenever you can just peel that out and you just leave it there, and then there you go, no problem with that at all. And here is the outer shell. Um, I think this is supposed to have uh, the rubber feet. Okay, comparing this on the back, um, there is no serial number. Obviously, this is where it was meant to have the, the sticker for the serial number. And then um, you got the rubber feet. Uh, everything looks exactly the same as the original. But yeah, um, I'm thinking the inside has the like the interior, like you know the uh, rubber feet. Um, it doesn't have the original sticker uh, that says 48k. So I'm thinking that's just left there for that. Um, but yeah, and then the like you know the, the made in uh, made in the Republic of Korea is no longer in here as it would usually be, and. Um, the Sinclair ZX Spectrum personal computer has been moved to this side here. Uh, so let's go ahead and see the front right over here. Uh, obviously this didn't come with the keyboard membrane because I didn't ask for it. Um, the texture wise, this is more smoother than this here, but it's pretty much just a reproduction. So I'm just, it's pretty much exactly the same. You're not gonna get a very like, you know, close to perfect accuracy to the like ZX Spectrum, but you're gonna get the best quality out of this because it's definitely like pretty cool to have as um, as a replacement shell, you know, like a replacement shell or if you need like anything new to like replace your like original ZX Spectrum, this is definitely the, the thing that's gonna fit the mold. So let's go ahead and unscrew this and I think everything should be on, uh, inside in there when I unscrew it. Okay, uh, let me see what's inside in here. Nothing really. So I'll just take this out and open it. And there is no rubber feet. Very fun. <laughs> I mean, I, I didn't I, I didn't think it was because I saw a video that actually had like you know the, the guy was trying to actually like put rubber feet in there. But I'll go ahead and buy some uh, when I get the chance. But I will say that um, yeah, this feels really quality. Uh, I like it. It's sturdy enough, you can actually see the, the texture, like, I like how, even when you get it out of the bag, it feels very premium quality. Um, also, maybe I should have compared this, but look at how, uh, right over here, you see this going on. Um, that is not in the original, uh, ZX Spectrum, as you can totally tell, because... I think it's supposed to be there, so like it stays in place, but I, I, I wouldn't know. So let's go ahead and put this over here and see how that that, that looks when I when I put it in. Oh god, yeah, you can totally tell you got bumps um, all over it. But if I put this in here, would this look different? Honestly, this wouldn't look bad. <laughs> okay, yeah, I think that would look better um, this way, wouldn't it? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and try to take this out. I'm thinking I might as well use this instead of the red one. And maybe I could just take this out and put it right over here. So it just gives that style, um, a nice little style to it. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> it looks badass, doesn't it? Honestly, I kind of like it. I kind of approve that. I don't know, I'll just you go ahead and use the, the actual thing itself. Honestly, the w I, um, I'm looking at how glossy it is, and when I see it, it does feel like... You can tell that the original doesn't actually do that, or at least not by much, but when you look at it here, it feels more metal. This looks more metal, and it, it really has this glossy look to it, and I like that. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take the keyboard membrane out of this, and we'll go ahead and start assembling this thing.
Okay, so we're on to the last screw, so I'll go ahead and flip this out, and I'll show you exactly the motherboard, as you can totally tell. And this screw right over here is not staying in place, so that's also another problem when I have to like take out the keyboard memory. Literally, the the uh, motherboard just moves all over the place. So already made a. I try to make a video that uh, about like me doing uh, a composite mod change to the ZX Spectrum because obviously I want to get like a composite video output instead of the RF one. And I already got the entire thing re uh, ready. So like, if I take this out, see that that comes out easily. But yeah, you can totally tell there's the little capacitor, and I uh, recommend watching Noel's Retro Lab if you want to take a look at the um, composite mod tutorial to it. It helps a lot, you, um, and trying to solder it, even if you, you barely have an experience uh, trying to do it, this helps a lot, um, and I think Noel's Retro Lab for actually uh, giving a really good tutorial on how that works, and very specific and detailed tutorial at that too. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, take the keyboard membrane out, and of course, obviously, the main course has to be the ZX Spectrum motherboard in its own. Now, one thing I did take a look at on eBay was the 16K uh, ROM, you know, like the 16K model of the ZX Spectrum. It's nothing really that surprising, and, uh, and this is coming from a person who's only gotten used to like the ZX Spectrum uh, 48K and the later models. Well, the idea is that the 16K model pretty much just removes, uh, I think it's just these chips in its own, and you get like 16K around here. But it's very weird how they thought of that would would make it uh, make a difference to it, because it's pretty much the same, uh, the same as the 48K, except you just add more chips uh, for the 48K model, just remove those on the 16K model. Like, it doesn't make any sense to just have the same one. I thought it was gonna be like, you know, a different look on the motherboard, but it just turned out to be the same as the 48K, so I guess I, I pretty much just let my hopes down. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and grab the screwdriver for the small one, because I'm gonna go ahead and screw it in place. Nah, that should be fine. As long as it doesn't really wobble around as much, that should be fine. So I'll go ahead and put the ZX Spectrum's um, case, the upper case, uh, the, you know, the upper shell. That should be fine. Uh, I'm liking how it's turning out well. Uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and put this meme, me membrane, meme, membrane. God damn it! <laughs> As you can totally tell, you. you it's not really much uh, of a hassle to do. And as you can totally tell here, um, the little clips, whatever you call them, the, the open space to it, it actually fits the mold and it works. So we're just gonna put the ribbon cables in here. It'll stay in place when I, when I just force it in there. I mean, not hard, but just enough for it to actually stay in place without an issue. Here's the second one, which we'll go ahead and do. There, there we go. That should do it. Now, uh, we're going to go ahead and I, I'm thinking I might as well use the same screws from the uh, the original uh, ZX Spectrum and actually put them in there, because they're either, either way they're the same. So yeah, um, uh, I'm also realizing that usually right over here they would have like the little labels on here. I do have some uh, transparent label uh, to actually use. Okay. Now, we'll go ahead and put everything in here. I'll use the uh, screw that uh, came with it and just screw it in place. I don't, the one problem that I actually have with the ZX Spectrum, like whenever I have to take the shell out, is the fact that I literally have to find the right screw that actually gets in there correctly. Because it's kind of like a, a, like a guessing game where you actually find it. The, uh, the like which screw will, will get in there all the way, uh, and if it isn't, then you're screwed. Uh, you should out of luck. You know? It's really annoying that I have to find, I have to like go through the trouble of finding it. That looks fine. Yeah, there we go. So now uh, I have the uh, ZX Spectrum's. Um, Keyboard mat, the new ZX, the ZX Renew uh, keyboard mat. 
Um, of course, this is an issue where you have to keep everything in, uh, you have to keep everything still. Uh, I don't know how I'm gonna have it still. Oh, well, here, I guess this is where you have to have them all like that. That's weird, because it doesn't have it in here. But I can totally tell, now that I'm looking at it, it's supposed to have these little pieces that actually keep it from actually, like, you know, falling, falling out of place, but I don't see them in, in the original model. Yeah, they, I don't think they had. I don't think they have them. So I'm thinking it might have been on a new model or something, or they they, they thought they were able to actually have the new model for it. I don't. know. I might be wrong. Now, uh, I'm pretty sure I have everything in here. Let's just go ahead and test this out and see what happens when you do this. This looks totally weird. I I'm not sure if I like this uh, this design. I was thinking this might work because it actually has this look to it, that uh, this would scream ZX Spectrum, but it kind of looks more like a watermelon, like a blue watermelon kind of look to it. Also, uh, usually the ZX, the ZX Spectrum is supposed to have like the keys looking like this. Hold on. Usually they're supposed to look, they, they're supposed to pop out, you know, like you get the idea, it's supposed to pop out, but here it just kind of doesn't. Well, you can kind of see it's popping out a little bit. I think this is better in the slightest. I don't know. I'll just go ahead and start uh, just putting this in here. We'll just go ahead and make use of this uh, adhesive. But yeah, I'm thinking this might be better because it actually looked like a ZX Spectrum with it. So yeah, I'll go ahead and make use of the original keyboard membrane because I think it looks better that way. Uh, it matches my color scheme uh, for the show, and it's pretty much how it looks like. And it'll fit the mold. Here we go. Get that out of the way. It's a very tough decision, but in the end, this is gonna be fucking worth it. This is gonna be a pretty picture for the specy, and we'll go ahead and test it out once we're done. Better be scratch resistant or else I'm gonna get mad. <laughs> okay. There we go. We got it. Yep, it's staying in place. I don't wanna take it out uh, immediately, so I just wanna make sure I get this in there. But apart from that, this doesn't look bad. I do kind of like it a little more now, but uh, it's, it should grow in on me when I uh, keep making videos. Um, it's sturdy enough. It pretty much feels like the original. Um, I like the look to it. But yeah, um, compared to the original model itself, th this just this screams nostalgia. Um, I don't have, like, obviously I just put the mat, the, the original mat in there, but... Still, uh, this is like the original ZX Spectrum that, that screams nostalgia because this is exactly what it was. It's a black ZX Spectrum with great, you know, like the keyboard mat. Um, but it feels just right to have it like that. Uh, customizing it, it's, it's a little weird, but I kind of like it because, you know, it just describes your color. So, you know, well, it describes you and your, like, and whatever it is. So, yeah, um... I highly recommend this. It is pretty good. The ZX Spectrum, um, that, like, if you want to customize your ZX Spectrum, this would definitely work. Uh, the build quality is damn good. It really looks a lot, it just feels right in the hands. Um, I, I do kind of gripe the this, though. Like, you can totally tell that the keys should pop out, but it doesn't. You can totally tell that there has been love and attention to detail and care made into this. Um, I, I think this is really good. It's just 100% built quality. Like it's really, really beautiful, and it, it really has that feel to it. It's just like it, it's really good. So yeah, um, I, I highly recommend getting a ZX Spectrum custom like uh, housing shell for this thing. 
I like it. It, it, it just feels right, pretty much. Hey guys, it's me, Future Retroku, and I thought I'd give a last minute recording because um, when I was filming this, I said that I was going to hook it up to the TV and show you how it looked after the um, the out exterior um, upgrade. But I thought it didn't really matter at this point. Uh, I did have a footage of it, but I deleted it because it, I didn't see the point. So overall, uh, this ZX Renew, um, you know, the ZX Renew parts. This is damn good. It's very, like, you know, close to the original as it could get. And I like it. I like it for what it is. Um, there hasn't been any scratches to it, obviously because I haven't made use of the ZX Spectrum as much. I only have it on screen, but still, like, um, the last time I actually made use of it was when I uh, discovered that I could use um, a uh, ZX Spectrum, uh, you know, tape loading software, where I could use my phone and plug it into, like, you know, use the auxiliary jack and put it onto the um, microphone jack so it could pick up like whatever it is any like demo scene program or something like that so I realized that without using a div MMC future um, module this uh, isn't without its fault I'll be honest with you guys um, it's okay I like it but the problem is is the faceplate now the original adhesive was very strong uh, when you use it on the like you know on the ZX spectrum the thing is with uh, the adhesive on this ZX Spectrum, um, the problem with it is that it's not strong enough. And um, this will become a problem whenever you like put it in there like that and then you can kind of see where like there's kind of like a small gap in the original ZX Spectrum, you know, like with the adhesive and all that. You can kind of tell that um, there isn't a gap at all. Obviously it's kept in place and it's very strong and when you try to take it off it's very hard for you to get it out. And it'll lead to curves, uh, you know, like whenever like it's gonna bend. So the thing about it though is, uh, I had to use double-sided tape, and um, it, it really is annoying because of the fact that it doesn't stay in place either way. So that is very frustrating for me. But if there's any better adhesive, I hope you guys would leave that, uh, you know, like recommend me to a better one. Um, I hope there are better alternatives than using double-sided tape because it's really annoying that I have to deal with double-sided tape as the only solution, so yeah. Um, and I've already mentioned that I was going to do some custom label on it, um, label on it. So I pretty much had to look at the, you know, like the upper shell and I pretty much had to look at what it, uh, what part of it said and as you can totally tell on your screen right here, that's exactly what I did, and I made the labels on the, on their own. So, yeah, I just cut little pieces on it and made sure they were um, as accurate as the original. Obviously, it's not like you know etched in there. So, what can you do about it? But overall, I love it. Uh, it's just a shame I never really made use of the red keyboard mat, as you can totally tell, because uh, I thought it would have looked better. But yeah, it, I didn't. And what was funny enough about it was the fact that I, um, even if I, like, used a blue keyboard mat, I think it would have been the same. I would have used the gray one instead. I think it was better this way, and I thought, okay, it would match, like, the end credit sequence of my video, where, like, I would have, like, the blue on top, the the red on the bottom, and, and, and the, like, you know, the, the black in the middle. I thought that would fit better off, uh, like that instead. Also, funny enough, uh, when I was producing the second episode, um, I already had this thing in there, uh, but I didn't show it on screen. So what I did was um, in the in the middle of the footage where, like you know, uh, if you see my retro clone, like literally turning around to see my other character, um, you know, like my main character, I literally had to cover the ZX Spectrum, but make sure that nobody would notice it because if it did, that people would be questioning already what happened there uh there's some goof you know like a continuity error right there but yeah i decided to cover it just to make sure there's no continuity error um in there so i thought i would write my character to have a redeeming arc you know like he would just take the zx spectrum he would like leave and give a change to the zx spectrum's outer shell and all that and at the end he would just come back and his redeeming moment would would shine by him like you know giving Retroku the uh, upgraded outer shell, the custom colored ZX Spectrum. You get the idea. So that's exactly what I did. I thought that'd be better if I do that while I was while I was producing the episode and yeah, it turned out well. I thought it was actually pretty good after I pretty much wrote that and uh, you know acted it out and, and 
pretty much got that all in there, so I liked it. It was pretty good, so yeah. Uh, overall, it's pretty good. Like I said, the ZX Renew, they're as close to the original ZX Spectrum parts as you're gonna get. So if you're looking to get a ZX Spectrum, like, and if they're probably like aged, you know, like the parts and all that, then um, I definitely recommend ZX Renew for like all your fixes to your uh, to a new look on your ZX Spectrum. And um, if you are looking for some parts that may not be manufactured nowadays, I suggest you take a look at the site because if you have like a ribbon, you know, like a keyboard mat that would be aging and it's already broken or something like that, you would need to get a replacement for that. So I, like I said, highly recommend ZX Renew. So all in all, that's all there is to it, really. I love the new upgrade to it, and I do think it's still pretty good. So yeah, until next time, guys, it's me, Retroku. See you guys in the next one.